go. Okay, so you have to do tubing in a class 2 cabinet with a total sterile attire. You have to wear a theatre gown, you have to wear a mask and a hat. And um, none of the DNA of yours should be exposed in, in that environment. And even if you do have an assistant who's helping you label the tubes, you, they should be dressed in the same way. Okay? So for tubing, you need these small Eppendorf tubes, which are clear plastic, so you can see the cell being tubed under direct vision under the microscope. You need this washing buffer. The wash buffer, and we can give you the recipe of how to make the wash buffer, consists of 1 times PBS and 0.1% PVA. Only vinyl alcohol. Okay, so we can give you the recipe of how to make that. As long as you have the raw materials there, it's a very simple solution to make. We always advise that it's best to make these fresh on the day. Don't make them and store them. So for anything such as threading solutions for fixation or these tubing solutions, we make them fresh on the day. So um, as I said, today we're going to tube whole mouse embryos. So what we'd like to do is make multiple drops, what we call the wash drops. So the idea is to actually wash the cell three times. Everything is written in the book. Correct. So again, when you open the tube, you have to do it very aseptically. Obviously, you'll be in a class 2 cabinet. Mm -hmm. So usually, your embryologist will give you just one of these round dishes with the single cells there. Pick your cell and we'll refer to this as a cell rather than the embryo. Release it in the first drop. Empty your capillary totally. Prime it from the second drop. Put it in the second drop. Empty your capillary again. This whole process is to reduce any kind of carryover contamination. Okay? Wash. Prime. Pick the cell up, wash again in the third, empty the capillary again. Prime the capillary with fresh solution from the fourth. Release some around your embryo. Pick your embryo up. Pick your tube. So once you see the cell come out of your capillary, then you stop at that. The, the total volume in your capillary should not be more than 0.2 microliters. Sorry, 2 microliters, not 0.2 microliters, 2 microliters. We prefer it to be 1 microliter, okay? You get these handles where you can cook, the, the manufactured by cook, where you can set the microliters, okay? So you can actually set how much you want to dispense. So I generally keep it at 2, so it never exceeds 2. I don't generally set it at 1 simply because 1, what if the embryo or cell gets stuck at the other side, then you, it's more of a... This is 130? This is a 130, correct? So this is exactly what we use for human blastomers, okay? And once you've um, done all the tubing, so you, you, put, you transport these on ice, okay? So that's what we do. Once the whole, all the tubes are done, we would put this rack on ice and then transport it to the lab so that this doesn't evaporate. This is a very tiny volume. It doesn't take time to evaporate in hot countries or humid conditions. So as soon as the whole process is done, all the embryos are biopsied, we put this on ice, ice packs, yes. And then put it in one of those styrofoam boxes, which maintains the coolness. Pack it up nicely with the paperwork on top, obviously not in the box, on top of the box, and send it to the courier.